Uh, what is the reason you arrived here and why? Well, I came here to say in a very clear statement, this house that was bought um, in the most legal way uh, by the Jewish settlers here uh, must remain under Israeli, uh, I would call it sovereignty. It's not just about another house that uh, people bought it. And there is something very unequal to say to certain people, go out of certain land because uh, you didn't buy the land. And here, when people actually buy the piece of land, they buy, they buy this wonderful house, to tell them, go away from here. Well, this is the Jewish homeland. This is the first <laughs> land where David the king started his king, kingship. Uh, this is the place where all our nations, founding nations, uh, the fathers and the mothers, uh, are buried and we must remain here and we must develop this place, not just, you know, to put it as a historical point. This is a live neighborhood and it should be, it should remain like that. Your defense minister, you want to kick out all of the satellites from here, why? Uh, our defense minister happens to be a person, doesn't have any political power. Uh, he has a technical political power to tell those people, go away, but thank God there is a prime minister, there is a government, he's not uh, a so solo person in this, uh, this political game. And as we see, as we saw in the last 24 hours, all the other ministers are definitely against any kind of uh, provocation that will take those wonderful people away from here. And you know, anywhere in the world where a Jewish person would like to buy a house in London, in New York, everywhere, you can do it. It doesn't make any sense in the state of Israel, the place where the Jewish people uh, get back to their Jewish homeland, uh, someone will forbid on a Jew to buy a house. And what do you say to uh, somebody that will say this is an occupied uh, uh, place and there is a law from six that they need the approval of the government to buy the house. The only occupation here is the Arab occupation. The Jewish people uh, lived here uh, since uh, historically 4,000 years ago. Uh, we, we're speaking about uh, since uh, 1968 where the Jewish people remained here. Uh, we're speaking about uh, people that kept on buying houses and different governments approved that. And I'm saying again, as you see it, there is uh, actually there is a good relationship between the people that would like to sell those houses to the people that want to buy, and the only people that are, uh, you know, making this uh, uh, friendship to, to break down is the politicians that wouldn't like to get the idea that most of the Jewish people want the Jewish entity to remain here. So if you buy a house in Judea in Samaria, you don't need the approval of the, go the government? That's what you're saying, if, if you ask because me, the law same thing say, saying all, something first different. First of all, absolutely, because I think that when you're asking uh, every person that wants to, you know, get a, the most simple uh, contract to go through a politician, then uh, you're hurting the free market to work. And this is about a free market and the free right of a Jew to live everywhere in this state. Your name and your title, please. Well, I'm Tzipi Chotoveli, I'm came from the Likud party. And just the last questions, uh, what do you think if the defense minister, God forbid, is going to ask uh, your people to go out and uh, sweep the clock here? The, the defense minister is going to be part of a government meeting, 6 o'clock tonight, and I'm sure, because I know and I've spoken to the ministers, that they're not going to approve, is going to be uh, the only person that things like this and thank God we're in a democracy where majority rules and the majority of the people here definitely want those people to stay here and celebrate Pesach here in this wonderful house. Thank you. And all the